And then we come along to the Star Wars films, the later ones, and Ryan Johnson said, you know, briefly, he said, you know, I got a, can we shoot models? I don't know about the CG stuff. Can we shoot models? And I said, well, you know, there's advantages to CG, and there's things that are maybe we can fix with models or so. So I took these four shots from Empire Strikes Back, and they're all beneath me. Probably all remember them. They're all shot with models, motion control, the dikes reflex that you're seeing out there. I think I shot all those things. And the walker, too. And I said, here's a test. We're going to add another CG sh uh, ship or walker into it. And here's what we got. And we put this up for Ryan to look at, and he said, oh my god, you can do it. It looks fine. It doesn't look like a CG ship. It looks like it's the same one out there. It's like a model, the old ILM, the way I love it. You know, the lighting is all different from the way the CG guys light things. The models are made different. Everything is different to get to limit it to the real world physics and real world lighting and real world everything. And it just worked out great. So, and then this, and Rogue One was going on at the time, and a lot of this was applied then to uh, Garrett's Rogue One film, which is why part of the reason why that looks so great. And that's it. Oh. <laughs>